protect and tackle the day Tuesday the 9th day of January 2024. It is windy here. I was going to show you all something with a manicure. And I may show it later on, but anyway. You folks with a manicure, you know, you might want to consider trying what I'm going to share with you here. Now, I'm not going to guarantee you to work. But I believe it has a pretty good chance. You know, the manicure is a little unique. With that upper ferris limit being able to customize it. I'll just throw this question out. If we go into a high iron sight with a manicure with a stock call. If we run an upper ferris limit at number five presets. Would we find necessarily everything that machine's capable of locating? Well, I say no. Now, here's what I've looked at, and you can do your own experiments. I'm not telling you how to run your machine. <clears throat> Go into your custom upper ferris limits. Now, the numbers, the scale system is different versus the preset. Most Manicore users probably have already figured that part out. <clears throat> but go over from, from zero or from that number four or whatever that default is. You know, they got a little default discrim uh, discrimination in that machine. But your custom upper ferrous limits... Start over at like zero and go over to about 43 for ID and raise those upper ferris limits up to like about the number 13. All right. And then the remaining part of your upper ferris limits, you can run them at like a, I don't know, a 15 or whatever. You'll, you have to make up your own mind there what you want to do. But what I'm saying is, this manicure, a real small sprig of iron can mask a coin, you know, using that machine. And if you're running, like I said, even a upper ferris limit, a upper ferris limit 6 or a 7 is a no-go. A 5 is very dodgy. Uh, but if you go in there and you do a, an area from 0 to 43... And, and why I'm saying this, that is where your smaller iron likes to breed on this machine. Not half nails, not three-quarter size, you know what I'm saying? Full nails on that machine will generally read higher than that. Now remember, you always get to rotate on the target. And you always can change this back if it becomes a nuisance in the wild. So, you know, when Sharpshooter gives you something to try, you know, it's 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 just that, okay? I'm not going to christen what I'm saying, you know, that it'll work for everybody, all right? Now, I've already looked at this again, you know, and we got this old boy lives out west, hunts ghost towns. You run that machine in the general or the fast program, and you're in a high iron side. If you think you've cleaned that side out, you might want to think again. Okay, the all-terrain low conductors is going to do a better job in some instances. All right? And I've done looked at that again this morning out here in this wind. And I even looked at it, believe it or not, with this upper ferris limit, 0 to 43, dialed down to 13. Okay? And there's a, quite the difference. Between fast program, equivalent speed, and I looked at speeds 5, 6, and 7, versus all-terrain low conductor. Now, the fast program is running some higher frequency, or it's running some lower weighted frequency. Whatever my lab has done inside this machine, and you can see this when you do a, a clad dive on top of a U.S. nickel watching the ID. And even reversing the coins, watching... Which program is following closer to the nickel ID, okay? Which program is reporting lower ID? 
That's how I gauge this, okay? And generally, higher frequency will do better in iron around low conductors. Your gold coins, nickels, nickel range signals, now they can be a little higher than that. Okay? But that's something you should consider trying. Because what seems to happen is the, the upper ferrous limits and the way that machine works, the smaller iron, you can actually run a you can run less ferrous limits and it won't leak through like a half nail or a full nail. Okay. You couldn't do this. You couldn't run this machine in a site with a upper ferrous limits thirteen over in the 50, 60, 70 range, okay? It would drive you crazy. But remember, those nails are going to be over there in that part of the screen. They're not going to be over there in the 20s, 30s, and up to like 43. Now, I just used the range 43, and again, you can experiment with that. You might can run that a little bit higher, okay? But you know what a nickel reads, Okay? About 27. So that's something for you Manicore users to consider. You know, if you want to be all you can be with this machine, you might want to try this. Now, it could be a nuisance in some sites. I can't, you know, I can't look at every site. And, and, and maybe some of the iron is different, shaped different. I, I can't judge every site in the world, okay? But the tendency of that machine, it seems... It keeps smaller iron in check more with, uh, with a, a lower upper ferrous allowed in that region. And it may put a... Now, remember, you're still going to rotate on a target. So you could come down the barrel, and I've checked a small sprig, real short piece of old iron, okay? Naturally, if I turn on it, I get a better signal, but what I've talked about in this video yields better results even running a straight across the board preset upper ferris limits five. And a six and seven is a no-go. You would you would probably never find this nickel in the test I did, okay? Now this spring of iron is considerable distance above this uh, nickel. It's matter of fact, it's uh, about Five and a half or six inches above it, okay? So, yeah, you're starting to challenge that 11-inch coal. You know, if, if I reduce the distance, that 11-inch coal, you know, it it's a no-brainer for that machine. As small as that piece of iron is, but when we start raising that coal, you know, raising that iron up, you know, the blinding effect starts increasing, is trying to detect that nickel as a non-ferrous object. Well, that's going to do it today, folks. I guess this weather here is terrible. And it ain't going to get any better, it don't look like, for about the next week or two. It may get worse. Uh, well, it's going to get worse. The question is, how long will it be bad? I hope you enjoyed.